Hello guys, Winston here. A couple people have now asked about how I do my remote CNC monitoring, so I figured I'd make a really quick video about it. With the proliferation of home monitoring and IoT systems, you have a lot of options when it comes to keeping an eye on your CNC. Instead of buying a dedicated camera like a Nest or something cheaper, I personally like repurposing old mobile devices for the job. An obsolete smartphone or even an iPod Touch that has a camera should be up to the task. Even one of those $50 Android phones would cost you less than some dedicated camera setups. Assuming you have one of those laying around, the only other thing you'll really need is a remote camera app. Since I only need to know about real-time events, I don't care about cloud storage plans or any other fancy features, I just want it to be free. On older hardware, it's also important that your operating system be supported. My iPod Touch is only able to run iOS 6, and so the solution I've ended up using is ManyThing. It'll run on older versions of iOS, has a free service tier, and you can view a live feed on both a mobile device or a desktop browser. Alternately, you could run a USB webcam from your CNC control computer and either Skype yourself or remote into the computer. The benefit of the latter is that you can also then pause your CNC if something goes wrong. Now, I should probably say something like, you should never leave your CNC running unattended, but let's be real, it's gonna happen at one point or another. That being said, if you are going to walk away from your machine, the least you can do is keep an eye on it. And by extension, you should also be in a position to react promptly if something does go wrong. Unless you have your spindle on an internet-connected kill switch, I wouldn't go out to the hardware store or something with a job in progress. I hope this answers your questions about my remote monitoring setup, and thank you all very much for watching.